hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you guys in this video we are going to do something special so on the screen you can see there are four frames coming at once you can see it is able to detect my hand and there is something on the left hand side you can see the frames of the wall and you can see the third one you are getting the contours on top of your images and the fourth one is the single streaming so this is from the live feed from my laptop webcam so in this video we are going to understand how to write a complete code or a python script for doing this if you are new to my channel don't forget to press the like share and subscribe button because i used to come up with new deep learning data science machine learning videos every single week so without waiting let's start so guys we are on our jupyter notebook now you will need only two libraries to do all this task so i'm going to import cv2 and numpy that's all first of all let's check the live feed from the camera so that you can take by simple command cv2 dot video capture and here you have to give zero or one or two so if you are utilizing the camera installed within your laptop you can write zero if you have multiple cameras you can check out with one or two so basically it tells like on which index your camera is installed or how many cameras are there so if you have only one camera installed in your laptop you can utilize video capture zero so this is a live feed so you have to put a while loop to process every frame so you can write while true so it will always go to this while loop until and unless the value you are getting is true so after that you can write this cap dot read so that is the image now if you want to show this image in within this loop and inside a window you have to put i am show method of cv2 so let's type that cv2 dot i am show and here you need to provide the window name so i'm going to write image and then you need to provide the image if you want to close the live feed you have to come out from the loop so you have to give a if condition so that whenever this if condition gets true it will come out from this while loop so we'll say cv2 dot wait key order is equal to q so this wait key tracks the keyboard inputs so whenever you will press q key from your keyboard this wait key condition will be true and it will come inside the loop so here we want to break this while loop so whenever you will press q from your laptop you will be able to close this window so once you come out from this loop you want it to release your camera because once you apply this video capture command it engages your camera and at the end of the loop you want it to release your camera so you can write cv2 dot release then destroy all windows so let's run this and check if you are getting the live feed from our camera and here you can see we are getting a live feed from the camera and it is working pretty fine you can see my video and this is the window we have created once you press the q key you will be able to close this window So I want to resize my image so, so that we will have four frames inside one video is equal to cv2 dot resize. So I'm going to keep it 640 comma 350 that shoots my screen. So most of you who are utilizing a laptop, this will work fine for you. There will be multiple transformation with the image. So in the start itself, we will keep a copy of image as an original image. So I'm going to write image.copy. Now we are going to convert this BGR to gray. So for detecting up the contours on top of image, you need to convert into a binary type of image. Binary image is an image where you will have only two values. Either it will be zero or it will be a very high values like 255 of the pixel. Now we'll apply this threshold and convert this image into a binary image as this threshold works very well with grayscale images i have given this grayscale image over here 
then this returns actually two arguments but we need only the thresholded image which comes as a second argument and you have this threshold otsu so this is a method inside cv2 to convert the image into the binary image based on the color distribution now you want to detect edges so we will be utilizing the cv2 can edge method so i can write edge is equal to cv2 dot can i have given a link in the description you can check out about can edge detection in detail on that link here you need to give the image and the first and second threshold so i'm going to keep 100 and 200 you can change this based on the edges you want on top of your images now the second image will check on the contours we have a method within cv2 which returns you all the contours within the image that is cv2.findContours you will utilize that method and you have to provide your image contours then method hierarchy and offset for this one so if you want to plot all those contours you need to write cv2.drawContours on top of your image so i'm going to create another variable and i'm going to utilize cv2.drawContours method and inside that we will give this count and we want to draw these contours on top of your image so we will keep it one over here and if you want to check the other parameters that is contour index then color thickness line type all these things you can give over here most of these indexes starts from minus 1 so we'll keep this minus 1 index then you need to give the color of the contour so we will give red color 0 255 and 0 then you want to give the thickness of the contours so we'll keep 2 so a small change over here you need to provide the threshold instead of image to find the contour because this takes a binary image as an input and returns you the contours you cannot send the rgb images and we will try to see how these images are looking like by plotting them or by showing them then we will write cv2 dot i am show so let's check out this gray one oh forgot to give the window name so here you can write gray and you can see we are getting a gray scale video so it is working pretty fine Let's check the other filter like this thrush and run this. Oh, nice! We are also getting the thresholded image pretty beautifully. Now let's print the image which have all the contours. You are getting the edges within the image. So this is also working pretty fine. Now we want to show all four feeds at once. So for doing that, first let's understand how these images are stored. So we will check the size of all these images, like this gray scale image dot shape. You can see this is having a dimension three fifty cross six forty. Now we will see the our image which is having contours. here you can see this is also having the size 350 cross 640 but it is having 3 rgb channels and these are saved as in matrix form so if you want to join all four feeds at once you can utilize the numpy vstack method but that method requires that you should have same dimension of both matrix you need to convert this gray scale image into three channels we have a simple cv2 method for doing that since this edge or this thrush is also having the same shape we need to convert both edge and the thrush into a three channel or a three dimensional matrix so first we'll convert the edge so edge 3d is equal to 
we have this cv2 dot convert color method and here you need to provide your basic image which is h and then you need to write cv2 dot color and you want to convert the gray to bgr so this will convert this edges 2d matrix into a three dimensional matrix now same you need to do for your thresholded image so you can put thresh 3d and instead of these edges you can put thresh and you will get the 3d matrix for edges and this thresholded image so first we will create a horizontal stacking of the images so you can apply save this horizontal stacking into some variable now let's stack np dot horizontal stack as stack and inside that we will give this as 3d and threshold it 3d as in two arguments and let's show this over here so we'll write cv2 dot am show and here we'll give the frame name I'll write couple and let's put this horch variable and right now you can see my two videos are stacked up on the left hand side we have this threshold date and the right hand side we have this edges image now we will again create the horizontal stacking let me give the variable name different over here this thrust 3d and the 3d we are going to change with image so this will show the edges on top of your images and we will keep our basic image which we have saved in the start the original image that we will do stacking over here now once you do these two stacking as in final we'll write we will do a vertical stacking be between these two numpy matrix so we stack inside that you will put this horch one and this horse two i forgot to change it here we need to put this final now let's run this and you can see we are getting all four shots of transformation of our images and in a single video feed and this is a live feed from the camera so i'll meet you in my next lecture if you are a starter in deep learning you can check out my course on udemy i have given link in the description make sure if you are going to enroll you are following the same link because i will get to know that you are coming from my youtube channel so bye bye guys i'll meet you in my next video till then take care